Welcome back beauties to another day of 30 days of makeup. Today we are inspired by the color bronze. First, I'm going to be starting off by doing my eyebrows. I am using the NYX Precise Brow Pencil and I believe it is in ash brown. I generally start with the tail of my brow and I like to outline the general shape of my brow and then color in. I really like these brow pencils. They're a great dupe to the Benefit brow pencils. They have great shade ranges and I really like the flat tip to it. On the other end, it also has a spoolie built in. I've noticed with some other brands that the spoolie kind of falls off or it doesn't really last too long. This one, the spoolie is actually super durable and is gonna last you the entirety of the pencil's life. Once you're done filling, you can go ahead and use that spoolie, just gently brushing it out, and I'm doing very short strokes. And then I'm gonna go back in and just kinda define my brows a little bit more. And then you'll see I'll brush kinda back and forth and just get my brows where I want them to be. I wanna say this brow pencil is maybe 10 to $13. It's not too expensive. We're gonna be using the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette today for this look. If you've never used any of their palettes, I would definitely recommend it. Their eyeshadows are so pigmented and they blend out so beautifully. They have so many different varieties of palettes as well that it's just absolutely amazing. And you can find their palettes and their entire makeup line in Ulta or on their website. To apply these, I am just using a big fluffy brush just so I can have nice soft blended out edges. This is just going to be the base to my crease. Next, I'm going to be going in with a deeper color and I'm going to be using the Bullet Blending Brush by Morphe. This is going to give me just some more depth and definition in the outer corner of my eye. I do have a hooded eye, so sometimes eyeshadow just tends to disappear once I open my eyes. Applying the darker shadow right above the crease is going to give the illusion that I have a much larger lid than I actually do. It's going to diffuse that hooded eye and make my eye look way more open. And once you're done adding depth and blending everything out, you're going to switch over to your lid color, which is this beautiful dark bronzy golden color that you're going to apply right on top of your lid. And it's okay to apply a little bit to the crease as well because we're going to be blending that together in a moment. Out of curiosity, have you guys ever tried any of the Juvia's Place palettes or foundations or any of their products? If so, leave a comment in the comment section what you think about their products, if you like them or not. And just continuing to add that lid color and I'm just softly patting it in and then using a slight sweeping motion just to blend it out. And then I'm going to be going back in with that deep tan color and then working the outer corner of my eye just to create more depth in the shape of my shadow. For this look, I won't be doing a heavy eyeliner, so I wanted to really define that outer corner and have a strong shape for the shadow. I'm using that big fluffy brush just to blend it out so it has a nice gradient. Next, I'm just going to be lining the lower lash line with that dark tan color just to help create definition since I'm not going to be wearing a heavy liner with this look. If you really wanted to, you can go in with a highlighter or a very shimmery gold or bronze color on the inner corner of the eye as well. I didn't do it in this video, I chose not to. And I'm just using my Mud Cosmetics eyeliner. It's in shade dark brown and I'm just lighting the top eye and then I'll be blending it out with a brush in a few moments. I really wanted a soft, smoky eyeliner instead of having my signature cat eye. I just felt like something a little different stepping out of my box for this look would suit this look very well. And I'm just using a flat, regular eyeshadow brush to blend it out. You can use a smudging brush as well, it's up to you. And I'm just blending it out into the eyeshadow just to help define my upper lash line 
but not have a super defined eyeliner. I hope you guys really liked this look. Leave a comment down below of what you think and be sure please to subscribe and leave a like and hit that notification button so you can be notified when I put out new videos. Also be sure to click the link below to join the Facebook beauty group that we have up and live. Thank you you guys.